notice that I was going live. We just got to our hotel a couple of hours ago in Bossier City. I am exhausted. Have a very large day tomorrow. Um, I have to give a speech at one o'clock. But I did want to tell you guys, I sat in on the Zoom today. And I am so excited because <laughs> I was sitting in on a Zoom that had people there representing the kingdom of Hawaii. So that is so exciting, you guys. And all I can tell you, hi, DJ, how are you? All I can tell you is an honor and a privilege. Hey, Wave, to sit in with people for the sovereign kingdom of Hawaii. Um, there was a doctor there from the University of Hawaii. Um, we had representatives showing up from all over the mainland U.S. And we were all there for one thing, and that is to get Hawaii back on their feet, to get Maui back on their feet. They were very excited uh, for what Stephen and I and Storky Form said had to bring to the table in the end of regenerative agriculture. It looks like, <clears throat> excuse me, I'm exhausted, you guys. It looks like I will be able to work with the children of Maui where 4-H is concerned because I've told you guys before, my husband and I sit on the advisory board for 4-H in our parish in Louisiana. So it looks like I'm going to get to work with some kids. It looks like um, we're going to be doing some long-term soil sampling. That is already going on. I did find out that today. They are going to network me, network me into the loop with the people that are already doing soil tests in Lahaina and other parts of the island. So um, I cannot tell y'all what it felt like to be sitting. Um, it is Miss Kathy. <clears throat> Excuse me, guys. Um, yes, Constance. It was wonderful. And I cannot tell y'all what an honor it was to rub elbows with people who were working for the sovereign kingdom of Hawaii. Like to have my voice heard, to have y'all's voice heard, because I was able to speak for 21,800 people. I was able to say, hey, look, this is what my subscribers would like. You know, this is what the world is looking at. This is how we feel. And we were, we had a seat at the table and it was a beautiful thing. It was a beautiful thing. When I tell you that God is ordering my steps, there is no way that I could ever get this group of people, hey, Miss Sherry, to ever sit down and have a conversation with me. I don't have the numbers. I don't have the platform. You know, I have the college degrees, but that's it. I'm just a nobody from Louisiana. And yet I was sitting at a... Everybody wanting the same... And that is for the health of the people long-term. They covered issues like PPE the cost of the personal protection equipment, getting it to Maui. Um, you know, I heard things being discussed about new evacuation routes. Um, oh, thank you, Byron. You know, they were literally talking about rapid grants that they had just received to, to find evacuation routes. Um, hey, Miss Karen. Hey, eyes wide open. Um, yeah, you're right. I am a nobody. And that's great, right? Because it just shows the power of our God, how big he is. So good things are coming. I don't have all my notes in front of me. Hey, Lazy Llama. Um, I would love to sit down and go over the four pages of notes I took on the hour and a half drive of me holding the phone like this and writing while my husband drove me across Louisiana. I don't have those notes in front of me. Hi, hey, Cecilia. Hi, pleasant greetings. Um, I'm too tired. And I have to do a whole hour tomorrow. I'm starting to lose my voice. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to tell you guys, um, hey, Miss Peg, my address, <clears throat> excuse me, guys. My address is um, 199 Dr. B or period B-O-B, Dr. Bob Lane, Greensburg, Louisiana, 70441. So if anybody wants to send any, anything in the mail, please do. I told them that we would have funds when we come to Maui on the 19th to the 27th, that we will help put money in the pot for PPE for the survivors that, um, you know, I have one specific person who wants to put a thousand dollars towards soil test guys. When I tell y'all they were tickled pink, it's going to take the whole world, the whole world. 
But back to the grants real quick. They have been writing. The University of Hawaii has been writing. Um, hey, hey, Shell, a bunch of grants called rapid grants, and they are receiving them. One of them is to find new evacuation routes for all types of people. So what I'm saying is that if you lived on the side of the mountain and needed to evacuate due to a fire or a tsunami, you might not be able to, say if you were 70 years old, climb down the mountain, right? And there may only be one road and that road may not be accessible to you. So they are literally trying to find new ways for evacuation on this island. And that's a beautiful thing. That's, that shows you that they're starting to acknowledge there were some real problems during the fire. And guess what else they're doing? They are already working on an interactive burn map. How many times you guys heard me say, my friends and I are working on an interactive time geographical map showing where the fires all started, when they started, where they were located, how they affected the area. We're going to be able to take what we've already collaborated on and work with the University of Hawaii to get this interactive map up faster. So beautiful connections being made, um, so much knowledge being passed. And when I got the thank you email tonight and it said Kingdom of Hawaii, I just stopped and I turned to my husband. I said, Oh, like I knew that I was sitting at the seat with royalty, but I didn't know that there were actual royalty sitting at that table. And guys, hey, Peggy Ann, um, I'm telling you guys, wow, wow. That's the kind of Jesus that I serve when he makes those kind of connections happen. So I love you guys. I have so much to do. I haven't even unpacked yet. Need to get my shower, need to get my hair done. I need to get some sleep. It is like 7 17 here, or I might know that's how long I've been on this. Oh, wow. Sam's tired. Anyway, I don't know what time it is, but I have to be up super early before the sun and back over to LSU to work in the morning. Oh, another good thing. I'm going to be speaking to soil specialist. Hey, good oak. Um, yeah, we made it safe. And we're working with soil specialists from LSU to collaborate with Hawaii soil specialists, because if it's one thing Louisiana, Louisiana understands, it's contamination of our soils. So, um, hey, hey, Jolinda, yes, I definitely need some, some rest, but I could not not share this with you guys. This is what we're fighting for. We're fighting to be heard. By the way, the email that I got was CC'd. You ready for this? And what? And to Doug and Stacy, yeah, watch any homesteading, you know, platforms and that Doug and Stacy. So real, real talk, real time, big, you guys, big. And it's only happening because you guys are on this platform, rowing in this boat, and we are now starting to get heard. So just keep sharing the fundraising stuff, you guys. We want to go to Maui with the full $50,000. We really want to make a difference. Um, like I said, we're already getting things set up, work with different groups. It's going to be amazing footage. We're going to go pro the entire thing. You guys will be able to look through it. And finally, we will get some real answers to what in the world happened and what we can do to help the people there and stop this from happening anywhere else. So good night. I love you guys. Thank you for the 71 of you that popped in like that. Y'all were amazing. So good night. God bless. Wish me luck in the morning. I'll talk to you guys Monday. Bye-bye.